gentlemen, let me ask you something. You work out your arms, your chest, maybe even your legs if you're disciplined. But what about the one muscle group that most men completely ignore? Yes, I'm talking about your penis. Now, I know that sounds funny at first, but stay with me. Just like your biceps or calves, your penis contains specialized muscle tissue that needs regular exercise to stay strong, responsive, and healthy. If you neglect it, it becomes less reliable as the years go by. And here's the exciting part. You can take your penis to the gym. There's a safe, proven way to train it, keep blood flowing, and prevent age-related decline. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through the surprising science behind why erections fade with age. The single best penis workout tool I prescribe to my patients. The exact step-by-step -step plan you can follow at home. And the biggest mistakes men make that secretly sabotage their sexual health. So grab a seat, maybe even a notepad, because this just might change the way you think about male health forever. Before we dive in, a quick favor. If you want more straight-talking, science-backed advice about men's health, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and drop me a comment below. Let me know where you're watching from. I love seeing men from all over the world supporting each other in this journey. All right, let's get to it. Now here's the myth I hear all the time. Erectile dysfunction is just about testosterone. Wrong. Yes, testosterone plays a role in libido and energy, but the real story is much deeper. The main reason men lose strong erections with age isn't just low hormones, it's changes in the actual erectile tissue. Inside your penis are two long chambers called the corpora cavernosa. Think of them as expandable sponges made of smooth muscle. When blood rushes in, these chambers expand, press against the outer casing, and trap blood inside. That's what creates a firm erection. But here's the problem. Over time, if those chambers aren't regularly filled, stretched, and oxygenated, the smooth muscle gets replaced by stiff collagen fibers, a process we call fibrosis. That means instead of being flexible and elastic, the tissue gets rigid and leaky. The veins don't seal properly. Blood escapes too quickly. That's why you might get an erection that doesn't stay, or one that feels softer than it used to. So no, it's not just testosterone. It's use it or lose it. And that's where our gym plan comes in. For those of you who are new here, I'm Dr. Jocelyn Carter. I've been a practicing urologist for over five years, helping men restore not just their sexual health, but their confidence, their relationships, and their sense of vitality. I've seen men in their 40s, 50s, 60s, even 80s regain function they thought was gone forever. And it didn't happen because of a magic pill. It happened because they finally learned how to condition their erections the same way they condition their muscles, their heart, and their mind. So what I'm sharing with you today isn't theory. It's based on years of medical training, clinical practice, and real life results. Let's break it down step by step. Here are the five most important things you need to know and avoid if you wanna train your penis properly and protect your erections for life. Mistake number five, thinking sex alone is enough exercise. Sure, intercourse or masturbation bring blood flow to the penis, but let's be real. As men get older, sex tends to happen less frequently. Stress, fatigue, illness, or life circumstances can mean your penis isn't working out nearly as often as it used to. That's why depending on sex alone isn't enough. You need a backup plan to make sure your erectile tissue still gets its oxygen workouts. Mistake number four, Ignoring the power of a simple medical tool. Here's the game changer most men don't know about, a vacuum erection device, often just called a penis pump. Now I know some of you are picturing gimmicky products you've seen online. Forget that. I'm talking about medical grade devices that are safe, effective, and actually prescribed by urologists. Here's how it works. You place your penis into a clear cylinder, create gentle negative pressure, and blood is drawn into the erectile chambers. Boom you've just given your penis a full workout. It's not about size, it's about stretching the smooth muscle, oxygenating the tissue, and conditioning the mechanism that keeps blood trapped inside. When men use this regularly, the tissue stays elastic, the blood vessels stay healthy, and the whole system works the way it's supposed to. Mistake number three, overdoing it. Men always think, if a little is good, more must be better. Wrong again. Your penis is delicate tissue, not a bicep. If you pump too hard, hold it too long, or do marathon sessions, you're not training. You're causing trauma. That means bruising, swelling, even damage to the very tissue you're trying to protect. The sweet spot? 
about 10 minutes per session. Think of it like interval training. Pump up to a comfortable, firm erection. Hold for 30 to 60 seconds. Release and repeat. Do that for about 10 minutes, three to five times a week. That's all you need. Mistake number two, forgetting the lifestyle foundation. Even the best penis workout won't overcome poor health habits. If you smoke, drink heavily, sit all day, eat junk, or ignore sleep, your erections will suffer, period. Why? Because erections are basically a cardiovascular event. If your arteries are clogged, if your blood pressure is sky high, if your blood sugar is out of control, that same damage is happening inside the tiny arteries of your penis. So your training plan has to include the basics. Walk at least 30 minutes a day. Do strength training two to three times a week. Sleep seven to eight hours. Control blood pressure, cholesterol, and blood sugar. Cut back on smoking and alcohol. Those are the biggest levers you can pull. Without them, no gadget or pill will save you. Mistake number one, chasing gimmicks instead of guidance. I can't stress this enough. Don't inject oils, fillers, or unregulated substances into your penis. Don't buy sketchy lengthening creams. Don't gamble with your manhood. The only proven ways to condition erections are regular natural erections, whether sexual or nocturnal, safe medical pumping, lifestyle optimization, in some cases, guided medical treatments like traction or prescription therapies under a doctor's care, everything else, snake oil that can leave you scarred for life. So let's put it all together into a simple weekly routine you can actually follow. Here's your penis gym plan. Three to five days per week, do a 10 minute vacuum device session, pump slowly, hold for 30 to 60 seconds, release, repeat, Think intervals. During rest periods, add two sets of five gentle pelvic floor contractions. These are the same muscles you use to stop urine midstream. Each squeeze lasts three seconds, then relax fully. Most days, walk 30 minutes. Movement improves circulation. Two to three days per week, do strength training, push, pull, squat, hinge. Every night, protect your sleep. Those morning erections are nature's way of conditioning you. Optional, if your doctor agrees, consider a nitric oxide supporting supplement like L-citrulline from watermelon extract before your pump sessions for a boost in blood flow. That's it. Simple, doable, sustainable. Now, I know some of you might be feeling discouraged. Maybe you've noticed your erections aren't what they used to be. Maybe you've even felt embarrassed or less confident in the bedroom. I want you to hear me on this. You are not broken and you are not alone. Every man faces changes as he ages, but those changes are not the end of your story. With the right habits, you can maintain strong, reliable erections well into your later years. I've seen it countless times with my patients. Men who thought they were done suddenly feeling 20 years younger in their intimacy and confidence. It's not about chasing youth, it's about protecting your dignity, your connection with your partner, and your sense of vitality as a man. So here's the bottom line. You absolutely can take your penis to the gym. And when you do, you're not just training tissue, you're protecting your masculinity, your confidence, and your quality of life. Remember, gentle, consistent practice beats intensity. A few smart habits will serve you far better than quick fixes or risky gimmicks. If you found this video helpful, please hit like, share it with a friend who might benefit, and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss future episodes. And let me know in the comments, are you going to try the penis gym plan? Where in the world are you watching from? I'd love to hear your story. Gentlemen, aging is inevitable, but decline? That's optional. With the right approach, you can stay strong, vibrant, and confident for decades to come. I'm Dr. Jocelyn Carter, and I'll see you in the next one.